Yeah, t- let's talk about your recruitment. What what was the turning factor that got you to the University of Georgia? Really, Florida talked about a lot of nothing. So I was like, Georgia talked about a lot of something. They're going to put people in the league. Florida ain't put a D-line in the league since Taven Bryant. And he's terrible. So, hey, talk about <laughs> Georgia. And that's really what it was. And I could really, honestly and truthfully, I've talked to way more of y'all. Yeah, t- let's talk about All right. So listen, he's not wrong, okay? Like, he's not wrong. Jordan Hall is not wrong. But. But. You got to be careful, man. You're a freshman. Like, I, I, I get that Florida has had down years, but let's not act as if. Let's. Like, that's not Billy Napier's fault. It's not Billy Napier's fault that Florida has been down because the truth is Florida has put out a crap load of defensive linemen. Yes. What you should be saying is, is that Kirby has put out a lot of defensive linemen and he's proven and Billy Napier and Florida are not yet. That's what he should be saying. Yeah. First of all, I love shit talking. I love this. I, and I, you know, you, I, I know that, you're probably a little more of a traditionalist than I am that prove it first before you start talking shit. I don't care. I love beef, man. I, I think this oh, is man. awesome. Come in and talk your stuff, and, and he better back it up. That's the key thing here. He better come in and back it up, and if he does, I'm going to love Jordan Hall even more. I already liked him as a recruit. I liked him as an incoming freshman, but if he comes in, he backs it up, and he starts doing damage, I'm going to like him even more. But here's the thing. Here's my thoughts on this, my takeaway from it. I understand that it's not Billy Napier's fault because the guys that have come out have been from previous coaching regimes and he's still just trying to get it figured out. But what I'm learning from this is like how un like uninspiring are these recruiting trips? How uninspiring are these one-on-one meetings with the coaching staffs at Florida? I'm not saying that Florida's got like a recruiting issue because they've been killing it over the past couple of weeks in recruiting. But if you can't sell a kid, oversell him and, and allow him to go to Georgia the same stuff's going to keep happening every single year. If a guy goes out of his way to say that they talked a whole lot of nothing, that to me is is a pretty clear indicator that there is not a lot to sell to an incoming recruit. So a kid from Georgia, is he from Georgia or Florida? I, I want to say he's from Georgia. I'll check. Okay. Or he's from Florida, I mean. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, I think he is from Florida. Yeah, he's from Jacksonville, Florida. So he's from. He's in that area. Yeah, in the Florida yeah, area. The area. Listen, here's the. I don't mind. So I don't mind that he's talking trash to their biggest rival. You know what I? You know what? Don't say a dude in the NFL's trash when you haven't even taken a snap. That's the part that gets me. David Ryan stinks. I uh, Joe. I'll say it for him. I haven't played hold on, in the NFL. Hold on, one, hold on one second. There is not a player in the NFL right now. Hold, really, you can say they're terrible compared to their counterparts. They are not terrible football players. He shouldn't have been a first round pick. I don't give. I don't give two flying poos what he flying Rudy poos what he should and shouldn't have been. Let's be real. That guy's in the league, and you aren't. You Is have it Jordan to, Hall or me? No, meaning the Bryant guy. That guy is in the NFL, and you are not. You need to shut your mouth and know your role. So am I allowed to speak negatively on Taven Bryan? Because I – Yeah, don't. you can. You can. There's a difference. Your job is to do that. Okay? Like, your job is to do that. But I think that everybody goes out here sometimes and says – that guy's trash. While they sit on their couch and eat honey buns, myself included, I don't, I hate, I hate H A T E when people go out there and call a kid trash. Well, no, he's, he's a not. grown man. He's been in the NFL long enough. And look, he's I hate not the, trash, Joe. Like, I hate the people who make that statement without watching the tape, but I've watched the tape. I've watched the guy play. The guy's the guy's not very good. He's say he he's not very good. Don't say pick. he's trash because he's better than right now. Right now, the Bryant guy has a more established career because he's had the longer time than Jordan Hall. 
God willing, knock on wood, what if Jordan Hall doesn't make it to the league? Well, then he's going to look like a dumbass. What if he's, but like, what if he's, he's got to back up? You got to go out That's there and not back gonna up happen. first. That's not going to happen. You this don't know gonna what's going to happen, Joe. Freshmen do not have the right to go out there and talk trash to an NFL guy. I'm sorry. I disagree. Uh, I don't know, so man. I think we're in such a professionalized era, especially of college football. Okay, well, that, let like, me just tell you this. When that kid plays – and we go into summer workouts or in, or in summer camp, and Georgia's offensive line is physically dominating him, I'm going to get that all-22 copy, and I'm going to bring it up on this show and say, look who's trash now, mother. I, I think the bigger thing here is the guy, the, the kid's just saying, I want to be developed into Jalen Carter or then say that. Then Wyatt say that. Davis, and, and I don't want to be Taven Bryan. Okay, well, I want to be developed. That. I want to okay, be coached. Well, again, well, then say that. 